Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at event logs on the One X Agent. We will be reviewing the log settings, viewing the logs, and showing where the logs are stored. You can find detailed instructions for the One X Agent in the Avaya One X Agent 2.5 documentation library. Okay, let's get started. And the first thing we need to do when we're looking at the event logs is go in and check our settings. So click on our menu, system settings, event logging. And under the event logging applet, uh, we have uh, three, three settings that we can do. Um, the first one is our logging level. So uh, right now I have mine set on info and we have a debug level, a warning, and an error level. Now each one of these levels provides different levels of debug. If you're going to use the debug mode, that turns on all types of debugging information and can actually affect the performance of your system. So be careful when using that. And uh, another thing you can do to help um, ease the load is shut down any other applications that are running on the machine just while you're doing the logging. So if you're looking at a specific event and you want to capture as much logs as possible, then shut down all of the other applications on the machine and just run the One X agent. Now the info, info is the default and that's the level where you get info messages, warning messages, and error messages. Now if you want to just reduce the amount of messages and just focus in on warning messages, select warning and that will give you warning messages and error messages and if you select error messages you will only get error messages so this is a way to narrow down logging by setting the different logging levels the next setting we have is uh, the appender so this is where we want to store the logs and what format that we want to store it in so there's three settings here we have local logging avaya format and what this does is it puts the log entries in a format that's easy for a parser to use and view. Now it doesn't make them very user friendly because they're not in plain text. Uh, the local logging general format gives you the log messages in a format that's easy to read. And then a central logging is so that you can send the messages to a central logging server. In this case, uh, we're just storing everything locally, and so we're going to use the general format, and that way it's easy to read. And then if you do send to a central, this is where you would put in the remote host or the IP address of where the logging server is. We can view the logs. If we just click on the view logs, it opens up Notepad and uh, places the log entries from the One X Agent log, and we'll talk about that when we look at the storage location. But the the log is appended at the end of the log, so the most recent entries are at the very end of the log. So we can scroll down. The most recent event is at the very end of the log. So we'll close the log. Now that we've viewed the log from within One X Agent, it's actually only one log that we are viewing when we click on the View Log. So there's a number of other logs that we can use to help troubleshoot a problem. So I'll just close this. We'll open up Windows Explorer and we'll go to our documents, our user, and then application data. From there, we want to go to Avaya, One X Agent, and the version 2.5 in this case and then click on the log file folder and we can see all of the logs that are captured by the One X agent. Now the One X agent log, so this log right here, the one that we were viewing when we were looking at it under view logs. So um, we'll have the same entries in here under view logs. Now there's an, a number of other logs uh, and you can view those just by clicking on them. Each one contains a slightly different information and uh, you may be asked to collect these by the Avaya support personnel and provide them. You might be able to find an obvious error uh, by looking at the logs. That concludes our demo for today. 
Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.